Hello, chemistry students. Today, we will be performing our biodiesel experiment. In this experiment, we'll prepare biodiesel from vegetable oil in a base catalyzed transesterification reaction. The biodiesel produced will be a mixture of different methyl esters of fatty acids that made up the original vegetable oil. Let's get started. To begin, we first need to pre-weigh a 25 milliliter round bottom flask. The mass of the pre-weighed 25 milliliter round bottom flask is 28.7628 grams. We next need to add 10 milliliters of vegetable oil to the pre-weighed 25 milliliter round bottom flask and then re-weigh the flask plus the oil to get the weight of the oil. The mass of the pre-weighed 25 milliliter round bottom flask plus the vegetable oil is 38.1018 grams. We will next add 2.0 milliliters of sodium hydroxide dissolved in methanol solution to the vegetable oil in the round bottom flask. The sodium hydroxide in methanol solution is made by dissolving 0.875 grams of sodium hydroxide in 50 milliliters of pure methanol. We will then place a stir bar in the round bottom flask and attach the flask to a water-cooled condenser. We will then clamp the condenser so that the round bottom flask is nearly submerged in a 55 to 60 degrees Celsius hot water bath, and then we will stir the mixture vigorously for 30 minutes. After the 30 minute time period, we will stop the reaction and transfer all of the liquid in the round bottom flask to a 15 milliliter centrifuge tube and allow the mixture to sit for 15 minutes. The mixture should separate into two layers, the top layer being the biodiesel and the lower layer mainly consisting of glycerol. After 15 minutes, we will next separate the layers more completely by centrifuging the mixture for an additional five minutes. And while the mixture centrifuges, we need to pre-weigh a 50 milliliter beaker. The mass of the pre-weighed 50 milliliter beaker is 31.6831 grams. This is what our mixture looks like after centrifugation. We will next transfer the top biodiesel layer to the pre-weighed 50 milliliter beaker using a pasture pipette. We will next place the 50 milliliter beaker with our biodiesel on a hot plate and insert a thermometer into the biodiesel. We will heat the biodiesel to about 70 degrees Celsius for 15 to 20 minutes to remove all of the methanol. After heating our beaker with our biodiesel for 15 to 20 minutes, we will next remove the beaker from the hot plate and allow it to cool to room temperature. After cooling to room temperature, the mass of the pre-weighed beaker and the biodiesel is 40.5585 grams. Okay, students, you can now calculate the percent yield of our biodiesel product. It is difficult to calculate the percent yield the traditional way based on moles because vegetable oil and biodiesel have variable composition. Therefore, you can base the percent yield calculation for this experiment on the weight of vegetable oil used 
and the weight of biodiesel produced. You can also analyze the infrared spectrum of our biodiesel product. This concludes the biodiesel experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.